Next, we have kind of a trend that's been popping up in the past couple of weeks uh, as far as our like uh, our, our topics go. Don't tell me another immersive hotel. A Warner Brothers hotel opening up in Abu Dhabi, across from there, uh, uh, award-winning uh, amusement uh... park. So this is set to open in 2021 in Dubai, across from their theme park, Warner, Warner Bro Brothers World. Yep, uh, Warner Bros. is currently constructing a $112 million hotel. Wow. $112 million. Wow. So pulling out all the stops for this, and a little upset that they put it all the way in Dubai. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, I've had conversations with other people about this. I've never personally been like, you know where I want to go today? Dubai. But... It's becoming a major, major territory in the world markets, and oh, absolutely, there's gorgeous stuff there. Yeah, as far as like the city and the structures go, it's it's beyond what anyone else like could comprehend. Uh, just the way that the the build, even just like the simple like the way that the buildings are built, yeah. are amazing. Yeah. Now, having said that, this hotel's a little large. Incredibly. I think they're expecting a high number of people. Warner Brothers World looks very interesting, very cool. Uh, it, there's a lot of stuff there that I wish was at like Great Adventure, mm -hmm. but Great Adventure is an amusement park, not a theme park. So you know the attractions are not really the same. Um, but having said all that, um, I'm interested. I, I want to see where this goes. Now, is this just a hotel or a themed hotel? And if it's themed, what's in it? You see, know, like, can I stay in Wayne Manor? That's what I wanted to know as well, because I, I dug a little bit deeper. The construction for it is still in, like, progress. They're still building the place. And I think they're about 40% done at okay. this point. So whether or not it's going to be themed is uh, information that I couldn't find. However, if I could, yeah, stay in Wayne Manor, or if I could go hang out with Bugs Bunny or whatever else, like, yeah, that'd be awesome. The kind yeah. of do, doing the whole like Cartoon Network thing or the uh, the Nickelodeon thing yeah. that's stay been in happening. The, stay in the Mystery Machine. Oh yeah, I would absolutely yeah. stay in the Mystery Machine. Hundred percent. Do they have Scooby Doo on deck? Yeah, there, there's a lot of great content there. Um, you know, like I said, I've I've watched walkthrough stuff of the park itself, and um, it's all inside of a massive warehouse. Oh, so it's in a completely indoor theme park. Fully enclosed. Okay. And uh, the Justice League walks around and oh, shit. all the villains. And there's kind of like little immersive stunt shows that happen throughout the streets. And they have a Batmobile. And so I can't imagine that won't bleed into the hotel. Because that's got to be I what's... I hope so. It, it's it's got to be what's making money right now. I mean, Disney really set the way as far as themed hotels go with their whole, like, Disney resorts and stuff like that. And then you have all these other themed resorts popping up all over the place. Well, they went all in with the Star Wars Hotel. Oh, yeah, definitely. And now, you know, we were just talking about before going streaming, the Cartoon Network Hotel in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. um, this is just another one in that same step. You know, we talked on a, a much earlier show on Puzzle Talk um, about the... Uh, just the generic puzzle hotel that was like a, a B and B. Yeah, we're like you know, um, hey, you solve a puzzle to get behind yeah. the bookcase or something. Yeah. So you know, there's there's obviously a market, mm -hmm. and very obviously, um, entertainment venues are recognizing that this is the direction that the future is going in entertainment. So um, thumbs up. I would love to see what they do. I would love to go to Warner Brothers World. Absolutely, business trip to Dubai. We'll see about that. All right, so I'm going to be starting a GoFundMe so you can send me to Dubai. Just kidding. You will not find that GoFundMe link anywhere. But yeah, no, this is... I feel like this is a trend happening within business, too. You know what I mean? Because it's been like every other week it pops up, this happens, then something else, this happens, and something else, this happens. Yeah. But these have been in development for a while. Yes. They have to have been. Yeah. So I wonder, well, like, who was the brainiac back well, then? That's always market disruption. So, mm -hmm. you know, you got to figure... All of Galaxy's Edge and the whole Star Wars section of the Disney properties has been in discussions for a decade. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think as soon as that stuff was announced, everybody else was like, we need to get in on this. That makes a lot of sense, though, honestly. And because started preparation. Because they, they probably knew that it was going to make money. I mean, obviously Disney's doing it. It's going to make money. So I didn't follow suit. Disney's had failures, too. I mean, that's fair. Um, but on this grand of a scale, anyway. But... There you go. The new Warner Brothers Hotel set to open in 2021. If anyone plans a trip to Dubai, A, stuff me in your suitcase, and B, let us know how it goes, because uh, I'd love to hear more about that. Stuff them in your suitcase. I can fit. I can fit in a suitcase. I've tried. 
I don't get past security though because I weigh more than you know love you. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot of fun. I'd rather be a kid. And we hope you'll join us next time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't below. Like, comment, subscribe. And